my God, dude. Our offense. I told you. Compared to this last year. I said this on Friday when you were out. Our offense compared to this last year was just such garbage. Now, it was it was it was good in terms of like relative to its peers, right? At the time, yeah. that was an acceptable style of football to play, and it was brutal. I mean, yes. that that Oregon game, it's like forty something runs to like fifteen passes, and of those, I think he threw twenty two passes. He hit eleven. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. it, it was. I said this on Friday. You were out oh, on. Fr- oh, who's that on that counter block there, Danny Dale? Okay, <laughs> you were. You Looks were like out, an overachiever. You were out on Friday, um, and I said the same thing because when I woke up it's Thursday so shocking, morning, dude. the o- LSU Oregon game was was replay, and and there are great parts about that team. Hell, I mean, y'all played for a national championship and may have the best defensive backfield ever assembled in the sport. I mean, like, forget the season in the SEC. That may be the best defensive backfield in college football history. Um, but, the, but the offense. But the thing is, to show you how much times have changed, and I also noticed in the in, in last dance, right, like where game four of the 97 finals is 74 to 73 with a minute left, yeah. right? So to show you how much even times have changed in the last decade of college football, the announcers are talking about how good the LSU offense is. Right, like yes, it's overly conservative and it's run first, but that's still like you know this is a it's a powerful offense and they challenge you in a lot of different ways and you got to be able to stand up against that running game and just man after you what you witnessed last year it just seems terrible it seems grinding and and plotting and it just the, the the contrast felt so stark like I didn't even quite remember how 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 conservative it all really was until I saw it again so I mean yeah. that that was one of the big takeaways that's the same thing. And then my other big takeaway was just because uh, I watched that Cotton Bowl into that Oregon game uh, was just Tyron Matthew. I mean, he's just unbelievable. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Watching him in that Cotton Bowl as a true freshman, as and he's having a good game, and they're talking about it, and then he just keeps making plays. He gets a diving pick, and then he comes up with a pick. pick. Yeah, the, the, the strip touchdown, which they took away the touchdown. I wasn't exactly sure why. They took away the touchdown? Um, Yeah. Yeah, there's like a personal foul in the return or something. I know that we got a personal vow for celebrating, yeah. uh, but 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 whatever. Just watching uh, Tyron's rise combined with the offense being hot garbage is just kind of interesting. Ten years later, uh, I think this is the two year anniversary in which Joe Burrow chose uh, chose LSU today. I think today was was wow. was the day that he made his decision final, um, in in choosing LSU two years ago. How the program had changed. And that was it. Not not quite its direction, as we said. It was it was. The, the ship was turning into the right direction. Joe Burrow just expedited the process and where Ogeron told you he was going to take it. <laughs> the analogy that I always use, and I don't think uh, you'll, you'll really appreciate this one or care about this one too much, but... Star Wars? I always use these, not Star Wars specifically, but like the space program analogy, right? Yeah. Like Alabama, they've built their space program. They, 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 you know, they've done plenty of trips to the moon. They've landed people on the moon. They're, they're not building a base on the moon. LSU wants to get there, right? But that doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. You got to build the rockets. You got to do the math. You got to figure out. You got to figure out how to land a guy, and then eventually, step by step, you get there. Well, every now and then, in a lot of like comic books or TV shows, you'll get like a piece of alien technology, some super advanced, and that allows you to reverse engineer. It allows you to accelerate everything. Joe Burrow was that piece of alien tech that LSU unearthed. And he just applied rocket fuel to the entire situation. And so now you are on the moon. You are building that base. And we'll see how LSU does this year. But it looks like, yeah, they are neck and neck with any other program in the in in, in the entire country in terms of just overall program health and direction. They continue to get better year by year.